Hey, what's up guys? So, initially I wasn't planning on making this video, but after the most recent Steam update, it seems that quite a few people are encountering this issue, and so I figured making a video may be worthwhile after all. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial on how to fix the unresponsive touchpad on the PS4 controller. Now for me, my PS4 controller has never worked properly in the past when it comes to playing Dark Souls 3, but for others, it seems that this issue has only recently occurred after the most recent Steam update, which released yesterday at the time of making this video. So I hope to share with you guys what I think is the best possible solution for using your PS4 controller. Okay, so all you need to do in order to get your PS4 controller working again is to download this program called DS4 Windows. And from my experience, it's a really great program. I've had no issues with it whatsoever, and it has a lot of great features that come along with it, such as being able to remap your buttons to whatever you'd like. And people that have recently switched to it also say that there's a noticeable difference in terms of input lag, and that their controller feels even more responsive than ever. To install this program, I'll leave a link to this website in the description of this video. Then once you follow that link, just come over to download now, click on that, and then download whatever the latest version may be, just download that zip file, and follow the installation instructions from there, making sure to install any drivers if you're prompted to do so. And then once you've fully completed the installation, I'll come over and I'll show you all the basic settings and things that I like to use in order to get it working properly. Once you have DS4 Windows installed, it should look something like this, and you can go ahead and just double click on it to launch it. Then once the program is opened up, you can go ahead and plug in your PS4 controller. Once your controller is plugged in and connected, you should be able to view it under the controllers tab right here. Once you've confirmed your controller is in fact connected, the next step is to go ahead and create a new profile. You can see right here that I've already made a new profile and I've just named it Dark Souls 3. Then if I click on it right here, we get all of our options to come up and make customizations. From here, there are a few options that I would recommend everybody unassigns and that is to prevent unwanted actions using the touchpad as well as the gyro controls. So over here you can see I've clicked use for controls, then just unassigned all of these. As well as over here I've unassigned tilt up, tilt down, tilt left, tilt right, and then along with the swiping actions on the touchpad as well, just unassign all of those. And then lastly come over here and just go use for controls again, and then unassign each of these. Then finally you're going to come along to the settings tab, and I would recommend you uncheck this box here that says swipe touchpad to change profiles. So that way you just prevent yourself from accidentally swiping and switching back to the default profile. Other than that, the only other thing that I've changed personally is I've remapped my touchpad so that the entire touchpad acts as my start button. So that way I can enter the menu from both sides of the touchpad. But of course, everything else is pretty much personal preference. So feel free to just mess around with everything and find a layout that works for you and enjoy all the customization that DS4 Windows has to offer. Now the final step in order to get everything working properly is to launch Steam, then go to the Steam tab up here, go to settings, come down to controller, then go into general controller settings. In here, make sure you just uncheck or disable all the different configuration support options. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. And so with that being said, I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.